Hi, Super Spruce here. Back with another Antimatter Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 55. And you can see, um, I haven't done a lot since the last episode, actually. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna gain some quarks and then just enter this challenge once after I assign them. Actually, I don't really need to assign it at this point. So, I'm just gonna enter this challenge. So, here we go. Um, I hope I'm doing everything right. So,. Actually, I need more electrons first. So I just need to dilate, I think. And hopefully after dilating, I'll have enough electrons. And there we go, I have enough electrons. Here we go. So you'll do a quantum reset. But you'll not gain quarks. Keep your electrons and you will keep your... Um, you will not gain quarks. You will keep your electrons sacrifice galaxies. And you can't buy electron upgrades. You have to reach the set goal of antimatter to complete the challenge. No, electrons and bank attorneys do nothing in quantum challenges, and your electrons and sacrifice galaxies do not reset until you end the challenge. So, okay, here we go. So, I'm, I'm not exactly sure this is going to be, so, so I'm up to E8000 attorney points. Maybe I can dilate. It's pretty good. And, whoa, look at that. E27000 attorney points. E3 billion antimatter. It feels like I'm so close, but I think it's gonna it's gonna get a lot slower um, pretty soon. I think even with um, 193 million red power and 75 million green power and 96 million blue power. So I think the game is gonna start slowing down a little bit. Um, I do want to get this triple the amount of tachyon particles. Which could be really useful. Yeah, that's actually not even far off. There we go. Let's see if the gluon upgrades actually do something. Yeah, this is doing something. It's not doing that much. So, again, the challenge is that dimensions 3 to 8 don't produce anything. Is this only normal dimensions? It's only normal dimensions. I was wondering if it was only normal dimensions, or it's also infinity dimensions, time dimensions, or even meta dimensions. Um. I'm getting pretty close, actually, to E446 meta antimatter. I'm not even that far away. So, I'm just going to dilate one more time, and we're up to E74, and I think at this point, I'm just going to start waiting, because I've heard Quantum Challenges take a very long time to complete. So, you can see I'm already up to nearly E5 billion antimatter. I need E6.65 billion antimatter. So... Yeah, and the reward is I'm going to add 0 0.25 times the electron gain multiplier. That is currently 5.25 electrons per galaxy. That'll increase it to 5.5. And the electrons are doing nothing for quantum challenges, but they'll really help for, like, getting quarks and all that. So, yeah, there's really not much I can do at this point. Also, I'm, I'm just going to read the reward um, here. And also, first and second dimensions boost the dilated time production. So that'll, that'll really help. It'll it'll make everything a little bit more interconnected with um, dilated time. So, yeah, I, I'm excited to beat this. I'm still far away. But I should, hopefully, I'll get there um, within 24 hours. Okay, I'm back about 7 hours later. And you can see... I'm up to E6.46 billion antimatter, so I'm, I'm getting there, and I can actually, 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 I can dilate, and it's giving me up to E75 tachyon particles, so that'll, that'll help quite a bit, and whoa, there it is, there it is, I didn't know I was going to help that much, the challenging skills are not powerful enough, I need to go quantum, I think it was probably eternity points, I guess I'm going to do one more eternity and yeah, it's going way past. So there you go, <clears throat> quantum challenge one complete. It only took it only took about seven hours. I did not know it was gonna take um, it wasn't gonna take that long. So whoa, galaxies do nothing. Quantum challenge two, and it adds it adds zero point two five to the electron gain multiplier and gain more free galaxies. For each threshold, like three, wow, that could be insane. So, but I, I just want to see with with 
um, this new power that I have basically from the Quantum Challenge 1. I'm now getting 5.5 .5 electrons per galaxy. Um, this is probably going to make everything insane. Yeah, L look at this. It's 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 like 1,500 times dilated time production. That, that's really going to make things faster. <clears throat> you can see I'm up to E89. I can probably go up to E90. Um, with this amount of eternity points, and not quite E90, but I, I think this actually will be possible, and that'll be really exciting. So, I think what I'm actually going to do, I will start setting up with more, um, eventually I'll be getting more of these, um, green, more green power. I'm, I still have very good red power, nearly 300 million, and it's really good. Let's see how good it is. Let's see how powerful it is. Wow, two thousand times. That that that's insane right there. And it's, I probably can dilate, and I'll. I'm with E90, so that, that that's good. Um, there's not really much else I can do. I don't know why it's I'm not as powerful for attacking on particles as I usually am, despite having twenty thousand electrons. That's crazy. Twenty thousand. It's, it's enough to get to unlock Quantum Challenge 2, but I don't think I'm ready for it. That's going to be next episode. So, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to end the episode here. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to keep doing just a few more, um, little updates to see what my progression has done. Like, I'll, like, I'll, I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely notify you about these upgrades. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a bit later, and look at this. Finally, E1 trillion antimatter. That is crazy. I have finally made it to E1 trillion antimatter. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just getting a new order of magnitude on the exponent is just huge. And this is I'm finally into the trillions where the notation basically forces... Um, forces it to actually um, become like this. So actually what we're probably going to do is I may change the notation to logarithm. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll keep it this um, mixed scientific. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm also, I'm, I've gotten the triple amount of tachyon particles gained and the tachyon particle formula is better. So now if I dilate time... Look at this, E92 tachyon particles, which means that that's going to really help speed up um, dilated time production. And also, um, we go over here to master, no, not to mastery studies, actually still here, 8.8 E79 per second, and now it's in the low E79s per second, E79 time theorems per second, so... You can see how crazy that is. Um, even though I'm, I'm still far from this, but I need to complete Quantum Challenge Eight for that, and I haven't even, um, I haven't even done, I haven't, I haven't even gone close to Quantum Challenge Eight. Also, I'm noticing there's definitely some sort of soft cap with, um, with electrons because you can see I've sacrificed twenty thousand um, five hundred fifty electrons, but it's only being released as a power of fourteen thousand three hundred eighty. So. It's definitely a nerf that is being done. Actually, no, it's not that. I, what, what am I saying? It's that upgrade. It's the glue-on upgrade. Um, this one. Electrons are 30% weaker. Um, I, I don't know. I, I have heard there is a soft cap of electrons. So that, I think that's what sort of fooled me. So, there's not much really to go over. I have 300 million red power. I hope to get this into maybe 500 million to help prepare for Quantum Challenge 2. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.